Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how the Int Mai does in the Cell Max event after her recent Extreme Z Awakening. Now, Int Mai is a unit that's pretty good in a lot of situations and she's pretty good in a lot of new content. She kind of gets, you know, the reason she's so good is because when she does eventually soup at the enemy, she gains essentially 70% dodge chance. Not only that, but her raw defense does actually go up significantly. It's not like it becomes a million or two million or something, uh, but it gets to like the 450k mark and she provides a lot of utility. She's providing a 40% support buff to one of the strongest categories in the game. And she also has the ability to foresee enemy super attacks, which is also something that, as you guys should know, or at least if you watch my channel, foreseeing super attacks is one of the most powerful abilities in the game, especially nowadays when super attacks can essentially cut your run down uh, before it even begins. So there's definitely a sense of her being really, really solid when it comes to utility. Now, of course, uh, that's not always the only situation, if you know what I mean. Um, there are cases where the enemy does an AoE attack, for example, and this can give Mai some problems. A lot of people circumvent these by giving her a full uh, evasion build, which is perfectly fine. But the big thing, or the big problem is, uh, essentially, she can uh, suffer from that kind of issue, you know. So it's definitely one of those things uh, whereby, you know, certain situations can have her looking a little bit worse than others. But generally speaking, outside of the AoE mechanic, she's more than fine. Obviously, if she gets hit by a super attack, she is going to take significant damage. But generally speaking, she shouldn't get hit a lot. 70% evasion is bordering on that area whereby she's very, very reliable and very very solid in terms of her own individual uh, ability to avoid damage from the opposition so definitely a very solid option uh, if not a unit that has a multitude of versatility and good situations to be used in uh, i think the fact that she boosts one of the strongest categories in the game is super important uh, and is really, really something that uh, is, you know, also an extensive part of her kit. Uh, her receiving a whole bunch of buffs for a category that's just basically saying she been completely revamped is also something that's super important. And I think that makes her uh, an incredibly solid choice. So yeah, um, synergy-wise, link-wise, she has Cold Judgment, which is kind of floating around on the future Saga team uh, to a certain extent. You know, Int's Masu has it, uh, Gawasu's Masu have it, uh, AGL Trunks and Mai have it, uh, Strength Trunks and Mai, Alar have it. So there is definitely a case uh, of these uh, kind of abilities kind of floating around and her link sets decent enough as is to give her enough synergy on the team she's on uh, without necessarily making her a big time linking unit for anyone outside of those that I just mentioned. So yeah, um, just a really 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 solid unit. Uh, we're going to see her here, we're going to see her tank and see her really uh, you know, kind of give it her best go. And I think overall we'll see a pretty good job from her. Um, you know, we're just going to use a sensi beam just to free up the slot here. Uh, but yeah, a sensi big thing for her. Obviously, cold judgment makes a significant factor in on her defense. Um, being a, such a powerful defensive link and the way her defense works multiplicatively, uh, it is very, very important. So yeah, that is something that's important. Uh, but you can see here really how the great uh, dodge chance really, really kicks in. Uh, and is super duper solid. So, yeah, really good stuff. Uh, honestly speaking, she's really good. Uh, a super attack would give her quite big damage. Uh, we're talking very, very big damage. But that's okay. Um, yeah, it's not the end of the world. 
Generally speaking, you're floating her most of the time, but in this event, weirdly enough, you can actually use her as a relatively solid tank, which is pretty good. So yeah, overall, uh, for me, really, really good stuff and an incredibly solid unit uh, that just does a great job. She's great in a lot of content, uh, but I wanted to use this on Max event to just kind of highlight a couple of things about it. You know, showcase how AoE can give her some issue showcase uh, basically how she's really really solid in a lot of positions and yeah just basically give her a, t a chance to shine especially against the boss that she has type advantage against so yeah uh, in my honestly really enjoyable unit uh, i have a ton of fun using her and for me uh, i have a great time just in general running her uh, i think she's really really awesome and yeah, honestly, I think her easier was done really well. There are situations where she's going to get caught out a little bit. That's completely understandable. Not every unit can be perfect in every situation. Uh, but I think her her performance, her ability overall is really, really good. And if you have her and you have not awakened her uh, and you are not using her right now, then maybe you should consider doing that because she's really, really, really impressive. And I think overall she's a really, really top-notch unit. So yeah, that basically summarizes it for me. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, could you leave a like? It's always greatly appreciated. Uh, and yeah, outside of that, uh, I'll definitely be seeing you guys in the next video. So until then, uh, of course, take care, uh, stay safe. And yeah, I'll definitely see you guys in the next one. So until then, as always, uh, thank you so much for watching, and yeah, you're about to see uh, Infuge Gohan uh, get clapped, but that's okay. But yeah, that's it for me. See you guys in the next one. Till then, bye.